there was a TV show which chronicled the adventures of the biggest bunch of whacked out space bums ever to set foot in an alternative dimension. Its name was Red. I've been going on a bazooka and blazing and trying to somehow get him out of there. But we sit here like lemons and watch him get tortured. Anybody got any apprehensive? I've got to keep myself stuff the mouth. We're going in now. Coming soon to a reality near you. See the fun stars? Sure. Isn't it almost sexy? <laughs> You're not a fun star? Well, maybe I've been in deep space too long, but every time I see her, she drives me crazy. <laughs> How do you feel about Betty Lovell? <laughs> Betty? Oh, uh, I tell you, I'd go with Betty. I'd be thinking a woman. Do you have any conception of how crazy you sound? You're talking about going to bed with William of Flintstone. Yeah, you're right. It's nuts. She'll never leave Fred. I know. <laughs> Black Box update. Well, for all reasons that are too stupid to go into, most of the crew was wiped out, and we wound up adrift three million years in deep space, which is real nice. My name is Dave Lister. I used to uh, be a chicken soup machine repairman. Now I'm acting captain. Uh, I know I, I don't look much like a captain, but when I tried on a form-hugging red like with bodysuit, I looked like a giant half-squeezed tube of tomato paste. And it's barked. Come uh, on. No! Uh, let's see, our crew number's five. Besides me, there's, oh, Arnold Wimmer. He's dead. We had to bring him back as a hologram. Actually, he's the same sad, weaselly maggot he always was, only now he's just a projection, which means that he can't touch anything except himself. So, basically, his sex life is unchanged. I can't believe it. I'm, I'm dead. What's it feel like? Death? It's like being in an Amish bachelor party. And there's Holly, our super intelligent onboard computer. What just happened, Holly? One of the drive plates in the engine room was defective. It broke apart and killed everyone. How long have I been in stasis, Holly? Well, I couldn't let you out until the radiation died down to a safe level. Really? You're gonna laugh. <laughs> Just under three million years. <laughs> My baseball card.
pounds must be worth up. <laughs> Well, of course I'm not okay. I'm now 2.9 million years over my rated lifespan. My memory is shot, all my circuits are breaking down. Actually, that one felt kind of good. <laughs> and then there's Crichton, a 4,000 series service mechanoid programmed to obey any order, no matter how stupid. We know the androids, and in binary language, it goes something like this. 0011001100111100111100 which roughly translated means don't stand around jabbering when you're in mortal danger. <laughs> and then there's the cat. You know the way human beings evolved from apes? You know, she evolved from the common alley cat. We got nine lives, so she's not scared of anything, and uh, she's got some pretty weird ideas about relationships. Are you scared, Yumi? Scared? On the around this ship somewhere, there is an armor-plated genetic mutant who wants to impregnate all of us with his demon seed. Yeah, I got butterflies. I <laughs> could have them. You only kill you. So what? Why? You feel a little embarrassed. You get up, you start again. You gotta understand something. I'm not like you. I don't have nine lives. <laughs> okay. You stay here and suck your thumb, and I'll go and rip off its head, spit down its throat, and turn its lower intestines into blood animals. <laughs> You're not going out there alone, okay? Listen, hear me. I do not need survival tips from a man with less backbone than a vegetable burrito. <laughs> I've taken care of myself since I was four. I've scavenged for food, I've lived off my rights, I survived. You've lived alone since you were four? Are you trying to get lonely? I'm a cat. I don't move along. You're humans. You're so fixated on relationships. You have sex a couple of times with the same person and you feel like you've got to stay with them until their teeth drop out. And you're just, you're never going to get involved with anybody, is that it? Who knows? Maybe someday I'll find the eight or nine guys who are right for me and then maybe I'll lose them all. Eight or nine? That is something else I will never understand. How does a human woman get by with just one man a night? I mean, that's not even enough to get your sweat pores open. Hey, we may not be the most efficient crew of the Space Corps has ever seen, but let me tell you something. We are going to get this rust bucket back to Earth, and what do you need to do? What are you doing? I'm recording a distress call to send off into space. Oh, I don't think you're recording. Look, the red light's on. No, 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 red means record. No, uh -uh, green means record. Are you sure? Because I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to mess this up. It's the last message capsule you have. Trust me and press the green button and say your message over again. All right. Yeah, we're really great. Now they'll know exactly where to find us. Yep. Now they have all the information they need. Once you got this best call. You really know what you're doing, don't you? I used to think you were a really big jerk too. bag of soggy potato chips, a can of freeze dried chilies, oh. some slimy lettuce, and a tube of gold soil ointment. Gold soil ointment? Hmm? Anything else? Just a cup of noodle. Oh, and the can of dog food you found in the toolbox. Oh, I guess we know it's going to get eaten last. Mm -hmm. I can't stand a cup of noodles. <laughs> potato chips. You ate less than 16 hours ago. I had half a raw lemon and a piece of gum I found underneath my shoe. You've got to learn to piece yourself. I can't help it. Everything I look at reminds me of food. Look at these books. Charles Lamb, the complete works of Francis Bacon, Herman Walker. Look, look, you better stop this. You're becoming obsessed. No. Take my mind off it, will you? Talk to me about something. Like what? I don't know. Uh, tell me how you lost your virginity. My what? How oh, I lost it? Talk to me. Not that much to talk about, really. I've always been sort of a fish out of water when it comes to women. I'm much more interested in automobiles. But, uh, the, the first time? The first time? <laughs> well, I met in cadet college. 
me get it in the back of my brother's car. What was it like? Sensational, <laughs> gently convertible V8 turbo. Oh, what a machine. <laughs> so, how about you? Michelle Fisher. Ninth hole with Detroit Royal Vista Golf Course, par four, dog leg to the right, the sand trap behind the green. Golf course? <laughs> how old were you? Twelve? Twelve? Twelve years old. When you lost your virginity, you were twelve? Yeah. Twelve? <laughs> you can't have been a full member of the golf club then. No. You did it on a golf course and you weren't even a member? No. So you didn't pay any green fees or anything? It was just a place to go. You know, I used to play golf. I hate people who abuse the facilities. Well, I hope you wrote the sand back before you left. <laughs> and that'd be a hell of a lie to get into, wouldn't it? Competition the next day and your ball lands in Mr.'s buttock crevice. You need more than a niblick to get that one up. You trying to say I have a big butt? Big? It's like two badly parked Volkswagen Beatles. <laughs> They call me Camille. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Are you a 4000 series? Yes, I'm a 4000 series GTI. GTI? Oh, wow! I'm just a plain old 4000 series. You've got all the luxury extras like realistic tools and a slide back sunroof hood. Why are you looking at me like that? Is there something wrong? Sorry. Scare me cancel. It's just you have really amazing eyes. Well, <laughs> they're just the old 579s with the automatic 15F stop chromia. If you like, I could pop them out and you could borrow them. <laughs> what a jerky thing to say. I don't believe you would ever say anything as I would consider jerky. Really? Really. Wow. Uh, listen, I, I know this is going to sound like a corny line, but has anyone ever told you that the configuration and juxtaposition of your features is extraordinarily apposite? You really are all the lines, don't you? <laughs> oh, I really mean it. The way the light catches the angles in your head, it's enchanting. <laughs> My name is Crichton. You already said. Oh, yes. Gosh, you must think me as stupid as a photocopier. <laughs> Aliens. Oh, uh, what's with the good kind? Kind of... Beautiful women with beehive hairdos who say things like, show us more about this earth thing called kissing. <laughs> what if they're the bad kind? You know, the kind that wants to enter your bodily orifices and then burst out at inappropriate moments? Well, they better watch out, because when they try to start something, I'm going to keep their green acid fairy butts from here to Saturn. You know what? I suggest someone return to Red Dwarf and then supervise this mission from a distance. I volunteer. <laughs> I'm not a cat father. This is better than moving an hour as a timer. Than a lifetime as a worm. There's an old human saying, who ever heard of a worm skin rug? Okay, I'll take them on myself. I don't need them there and I ain't scared of nothing. I spit in the eye of terror. I sit on the face of fear. I would mention his mind. Hey, what's that squeaky blue missile thing that's heading towards us? Hang on, I'll just check my data bags. Apparently, it's a streaky blue missile for me. A Ruger! A Ruger! Um, what are you doing? I can't remember where I put the siren. <laughs> Impact in ten seconds and counting. Nine, eight, five, seven, two, zero, three, six, one. Hey, the orders wrong, but they're all there. <laughs> 